Long division with two digit divisors. Divide 540 by 17. To begin, ask how many times 17 goes into 5. None. That's because the first digit, taken by itself, is less than the divisor. 5 is less than 17. Write 0 or just leave a space above the 5. Let's group the 5 and the 4 together. Now ask how many times 17 goes into 54. That is, what's 54 divided by 17? We must figure it out by estimating. The answer is 3, with the remainder. So write 3 directly above the 4. Now multiply 17 by 3 to get 51. Place the product directly below the 54 and draw a line beneath it. Subtract 51 from 54 to get 3. After you subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. In this problem, the divisor is 17. 3 is less than 17, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 0, to make the new number 30. Now ask how many times 17 goes into 30. That is, what's 30 divided by 17? The answer is 1, with the remainder. So write the 1 above the 0, and then multiply 17 by 1 to get 17. Write the product under 30. Subtract 17 from 30 to get 13. The result should be less than the divisor. 13 is less than 17, so it's okay. You have no more numbers to bring down. 13 is the remainder. You are finished. The answer is 31 with the remainder of 13. Let's check the answer. 17 times 31 plus 13 equals 527 plus 13, which equals 540. It's correct. Let's try another example. Divide 2,189 by 24. To begin, ask how many times 24 goes into 2. None. That's because the first digit, taken by itself, is less than the divisor. 2 is less than 24. Write 0 or just leave a space above the 2. Let's group the 2 and the 1 together. Ask how many times 24 goes into 21. None again. That's because the first two digits, taken together, are less than the divisor. 21 is less than 24. Write 0 or just leave a space above the 1. Let's group 2, 1, and 8 together. Now ask how many times 24 goes into 218. That is, what's 218 divided by 24? We must figure it out by estimating. If we change these numbers to 25 and 200, that would make it easier to estimate the answer. 25 times 8 equals 200. 25 times 9 equals 225. Let's make 9 the estimate for our answer. Write 9 directly above the 8. Now multiply 24 times 9 to get 216. Place the product directly below the 218 and draw a line beneath it. Subtract 216 from 218 to get 2. After you subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. 2 is less than 24, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 9, to make the new number 29. Now ask how many times the 24 goes into 29. That is, what's 29 divided by 24? The answer is 1, with the remainder. So write the 1 above the 9, and then multiply 24 by 1 to get 24. Write the product under 29. Subtract 24 from 29 to get 5. The result should be less than the divisor. 5 is less than 24, so it's okay. You have no more numbers to bring down. 5 is the remainder. You are finished. And the answer is 91 with the remainder of 5. 
Let's check the answer. 24 times 91 plus 5 equals 2,189. It's correct. If you like this video, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.